All right, so in this video, we're checking out the HSKRC Turtle 149. This is a three inch micro frame, and I built it like a Cine Whoop. And this actually does come with these little prop guards. We'll talk about that here in a second. It's in does come available in two different versions. This is the 19 millimeter version, which will be for the 19 millimeter micro cams. There's another version that has the, um, a different frame up here in the front. So that'll it'll hold the nano cameras, the 14 millimeter version. So it's a little bit narrower here in the front. But other than that, um, I think everything else is the same. You get a unibody bottom plate, three millimeters and they're three millimeters thick. And it's a uh, 149 millimeters motor to motor. It's an X-style frame. And then the top plate is two millimeters. The weight of the frame without any of the uh, hardware is about 24 grams. And the weight, as you see here, without um, a battery is about 170 grams. So um, this is kind of the first video you're going to see this guy because I had some requests on how to make a Cinewhoop that isn't as noisy because I think I think that's one of the big downsides of a lot of Cinewhoops is that they're pretty loud. And so I picked up these um, six bladed HQ props. These are prototypes. Um, not sure when they're coming out, so if you guys are wondering, I'm not 100% sure. Pretty soon, I think they're still working on it, but they do seem to be less noisy than, say, like a four-bladed or three-bladed um, cinema prop, three-inch prop. Now, I have not tried the Gemfan five-bladed prop yet, but I think as you increase the number of blades, the sound level will go down for the same weight of quad, so... We'll see, I'll have a future video on that later. So if you guys are interested in that video, be sure not to be subscribed so you don't miss that video. We're comparing something like this to a more traditional Cine Whip here. This is, I uh, forget the name of this, is like the Reptile thing, Cloud, you know, with the, the full size ducks here. This setup here is not super heavy either. It's only a 270 grams, so it's um, about 100 grams more, but um, this, I did try this out uh, on the regular uh, three-bladed prop versus the six-bladed prop on this one here. It is a little bit less noisy, but that's going to be a, a topic for a future video, so uh, I'll talk about that later. But in general, some people are wanting looking, you know, some sort of a lighter three-inch Cinewhoop setup and something that isn't going to be as noisy. So I actually scavenged these parts off of the Eusheen X140HV. So I've got the motors on here. These are actually, uh, this is actually a 6S setup, which um, for three inch, which is a low KV motor here. So I think it's a 1507, yeah, 2500 KV motor. And I forget the parts in here. Uh, it's like a 25 amp four on EC and an F4 flight controller. And I did not use the um, a video transmitter. So I'm using a different video transmitter here because that one on the X140 is a 20 by 20 video transmitter, but on this frame, there's nowhere to mount on the back a 20 by 20. So I'm using instead the Eishi Nano V2. That one has a built-in microphone. So, uh, you know, here, here's some pretty bad audio here uh, later in the video. And then, of course, the same camera. This is the Fox Air. I think it's the Micro Arrow 19 millimeter camera. Now, these, um, this setup here, I flew it on 3S. So, uh, you know, I wanted to run this on very low RPMs. It still flies totally fine because it's a six-bladed prop. Plenty of power on 3S but it's much, much uh, less noisy than a traditional Cinewhoop on say 4S or 6S. Um, it's a lot heavier that makes uh, not using these six bladed props. So if you're looking for something that's not as noisy, you may want to check this one out. Now, obviously there's no GoPro on here. So if you're doing something lighter, you probably want to put like an Insta360 Go or GoPro Lite, naked GoPro on the front here. If something like this interests you in terms of a platform for um, a naked GoPro, let me know down in the comments because um, it, it's going to take some time to put together a mount for something like that. Um, it's definitely possible because there's two screws right here. Should be able to you know, create something 3D printed and then mount the GoPro light up top here and get some really nice cinematic uh, GoPro footage you know, with Real Steady Go and all that. But I'm not sure how much interest there is in this, so let me know down in the comments if you are really interested in that, then I can start working on that. But it will depend on the level of interest. So I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, these prop guards are pretty weak and they are pretty, you know, I wouldn't say they're super fragile, but yeah, if you hard crash uh, really hard, these are gonna break for sure. 
But you know, then again, on you know something like a full size uh, with these with these plastic ducts, these break too, unless you're using something like TPU. But then you have the downside of TPU if you leave it and <laughs> leave your center whip in like your the trunk of your car or inside your car where it's really hot, then they get warped and deformed, and that could be a problem as well. So if you're just flying around and you're just using this so that you don't damage property like walls for example and not flying too fast these will be fine because you can bump off of things and these aren't going to break for for slow slow flight but if you're flying this like a five inch like a madman uh trying to win an fpv race uh yeah you're gonna these will break for sure so just you know they're there these are just basically there just to give minimal protection from the props and they're as lightweight as possible that's why the, that's kind of the whole point of this build and this video is to keep everything really really light so of course you can just take these prop guards off and you don't have to fly like, or, you know, this setup at all. And not, you don't have to fly this as a summit. You can just fly this as a regular three inch, which is I think kind of versatile. You know, if you're looking for something that's going to be mostly flown as a three inch, and then maybe sometimes as a sun whip, then you can just take these prop guards on and off. Of course, you're going to have to make sure you put in the proper size screw so they're not too long and damage your windings on your motor. Something to be aware of, a lot of people make that mistake. But I think that's another, benefit, another benefit of something like this is that you can just take these little simple prop guards off if you're not flying it as a sunny whip and you can fly it as more like a racer. So I like kind of like that uh, option. Also, one more thing to note, um, while these are 1507 motors with a 12 millimeter motor uh, mounting pattern, uh, the motor mount pattern here can also be adjusted to smaller motors, like say with a nine millimeter motor pattern. So if you want to go to a smaller motor, like a 1303, 1204, 1105, something like that, you can run that in this. I'm thinking that the optimal size for something like this is going to be like a 1404 motor. And I think they do come in 9mm and 12mm both. So 1404 might be good. But uh, the reason I didn't do a 1404 in this one is because um, this prop here that I have does not work with the T-style um, mounting. It only works with the 5mm shaft. So uh, I think... They're going to make some of those with the t-style mount of this in both three inch and two and a half inch again stay tuned that'll be coming in a future video i'm pretty sure that's going to be coming my way uh at some point in the next couple of weeks all right so yeah i'm going to show you the flight footage you'll be still be seeing more of this guy in future videos i want to do a sound or a noise uh comparison of this one compared to the bigger cinema and uh, that'll be in a future video but we'll be covered in this one so let me know if you have any questions for that one and any other questions for this one, uh, this particular setup here. And also if you have any interest in a GoPro mount for this uh, GoPro Lite, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Just doing some kind of smooth flying here, nothing crazy. Just to give you guys an idea of what these props sound like and how quiet a cinema can be. Bring it a little closer here. This is way, way quieter than other three inch ducted cinemops out there. So it's not really, I don't think a lot, I think a lot of you guys probably wouldn't even call this a cinemop. This is just basically a three inch micro with prop guards on. But I'm pretty sure in, uh, that these props on the same setup uh, will be quieter than a three bladed or four bladed prop and as you guys can see I'm running this on 3S and this is all really light setup and uh, having six blades only on 3S it doesn't feel like I have a, a huge loss in power I feel like it's totally fine fact, I feel like it has more power than you know a bigger cinema running 4S on, on bigger motors and I'll have another video comparing these later in terms of the sound but just in terms of how they feel I feel like I have plenty of power and it's running a very low KV motor and low RPMs here 
And I'm only running a 520 GNB battery. So, 3S. But, very quiet. I mean, it's not totally silent, but it's much less noisy than a lot of other Cinebooks out there. And two and a half minutes. Still 11 volts. This is very efficient on this low KV. If you're looking for something that's not super heavy, you know, and then uh, a little bit more flight time. Uh, you could definitely put a bigger battery on here for sure. It's getting a little windy right now. I probably can't see that in the video, but I can, I can feel the wind. And it's getting very windy now. And it's flying very stable. Ten point eight. Yeah, that was three and a half minutes, 10.9. Hmm, so we're gonna get close to four minutes here. That's pretty decent for this light setup, even though it's only a 3S battery. I think if you put a GoPro light on here or Insta360 Go, uh, it's gonna add a little more weight. So the flight time will probably go down a little bit. But this is, this is really nice. Any of you guys have a Yushin uh, X140 HP line sitting around not doing anything? Yeah, definitely give this a try. Yeah, over four minutes, 10.6 volts, so about three and a half volts per cell here. Definitely, I think you could do four minutes with the GoPro light on here, and you could GoPro Insta360 Go. And bring it on in. Let me know what you guys think.